Hello all, in this video we are going to see how to draw a pictogram. For that, I have selected the data of COVID-19 um, and we assume that we have uh, areas of red zone that are more worst affected and green zone that are not so affected. And I have selected for few uh, four different states. Okay, So this is some uh, makeup data that I have used and we will see how we will draw our um, pictogram now. So first select the data, then go to insert, and here you would see the insert column chart or bar chart. Click that one and select 2D bar. You have 3D bar and all that stuff, but in general, it's better to use a two dimensional for better view. So now you got two series of data, one is with red zone and one is with green zone. You could check the points, state one, red zone is two and green zone is three. State one, red zone is two, green zone is three. So our data has uh, uh, shown here in the form of series in two different colors. Okay? So uh, you can ignore the colors here because these are the default colors that has been showed. That does not reflect anything with our red or green. Okay, so now what we need to do is select on one of the data series, double click. Okay, so, so that it selects all this data of blue color, double click. Here you see three options, fill and line, effects and series option. In the series option, you could see the width of the uh, bars that you want to see. Okay, so I want to increase a little bit because I'm including some emojis here so that I want to see it much clearer. For that, what I need to do is I have to go to fill and line. And here you can fill in lots of different ways. I'm using picture or texture fill. Okay, so I already have inserted this one, but what you need to do is you have to download that picture and put that in a particular location. Here, if you notice, I have all these. I'm going to use the first two, not the next three. If you want to have three different, like an orange zone, green zone, yellow zone, red zone, something like different colors, you could use these three there. But I'm still, I'm since we have only two, I'm going to use these two. So basically, if you select this, um, you would be able to insert it that in this particular series of the uh, red zone data and scroll down a little bit in your format data series under the fill, you could see stack and scale width, okay? So, and the picture units per one, okay? So that shows how, for state one, how many red zones that you have, one and two. For state two, you have one. For state three, 3.5. So this is important to notice, I have given only 0.5, um, not the complete number. So you get only half emoji there, okay? So similarly, select on the orange thing, which is the green, which is our green zone and click on picture or texture. And now we want that to be a green, right? So now select the green under the file option here, select green and insert. So now we got the green color and stack and scale width, select that one, which you would be able to see this, okay? so. This way, we have this uh, red zone and green zone, and you could see 3.5 here and 3.5 here, okay? So if you notice here, we have an extra axis, which is eight, you could always uh, um, remove that. For that, what you need to do is, you have to select the x-axis data, format axis. Under format axis, you could see here, um, axis option that you want to start with zero, and ends with seven here, okay? So why seven? Basically, if you count these, the maximum that I would get is seven here, okay? Okay, so basically the maximum that I would get is seven. So that's why I took maximum of seven. If you want, you could take all of five, that's up to you. Okay, so you could take whatever the data, but again, pictogram is for to represent something with a 
um, with a smaller amount of data. If you want like a too much uh, a uh, huge amount of data this may not be the right chart that you want to use okay um and uh, next thing is i would like you to show a different charts of this so basically i'm copying um my data i'm going to next uh, page just copy paste here and i'm going to copy paste one more time delete this particular data and I am deleting this particular data here okay so just copy paste okay so now I want to do like a two different graphs here okay so which is exactly the same that uh, you would insert Um, this one we don't want like a vertical here because you want to see horizontal it's a pictogram right by now you should be able to understand that um, this shows only the red zone data of state 4 state 3 state 2 and state 1 same way you go to picture and text fill and since I already selected green that's why it appeared green but you could always go and select your red one and um, do with the scale that shows you red zone data okay so since this is 3.5 if you want to keep four that's okay okay so just want to show the difference because you don't have too many data points here the max that you get is 3.5 so you could you could leave that data and put it like this same way if you want to represent this with the green zone do the same thing select that and then stack and scale width now you would be able to see the graph okay so if you want to compare the graphs of a different thing next to each other then you could be able to use this so here the maximum data is 4 but we got 4.5 so now i may not want that extra axis uh, extra thing on my x axis so that's why i'm formatting my axis right click on the uh, axis format and i will put like a, just 4.0 okay so now my data has been my access has been modified however i want and now you could see the graphs side by side okay of red zone and green zone you could do for multiple graphs that you want so sorry for multiple um, at, um zones for example orange red green like that okay so another real-time example that you can see is um, look at the movies and how many stars of rating that they get if you look at Amazon you would see four star 4.5 five star or one star or zero star data sometimes you may not have any star there okay so those are some of the uh, examples that you would see and anything that you can consider about uh, infographic there would be some kind of uh, um, um, pictograms available there okay so you can always uh, the graph name you can call it as pictograph or pictogram or sometimes you call it as isotype graph also okay. um, so yeah so this is what uh, uh, about uh, pictogram thanks for watching